OP here from Ear Biceps and Bat Chat. Today's video is a review on the last tank of the premium trio that's been released this month. Obviously, we have had the Scorpion G, we have had the Pattern KR, and we also have the Panzer 58 Mutts. So, this tank is a German tier 8 medium premium tank. This is actually a Swiss tank as we can see here rather than German but don't worry your German crews do use it in the German tech tree. Um, and one of the things that uh, really jumped out when I looked at this tank initially was I was looking at it from this angle was trying to figure out what the uh, weathering effect on the turret and side of the tank were and then as I turned to this side I quickly, quickly realized it is in fact obviously please be a bear yeah i'm gonna say it's a bear it's definitely a bear it's not gonna be a uh, tasmanian devil or anything so it, it's, it's fairly pretty looking that's quite uh, a unique paint job on it quite a unique camo obviously this does count as permanent camo for the tank so you are going to get all the associated bonuses with this tank um so what i want to do is sort of just jump straight into having a little chat about this tank what it looks like if it's going to be any good if it's worth the money that they're asking for they've started to release these tanks individually now so we should be able to you know weigh it up if this tank is any good so first thing i want to talk about on this tank is the gun on it itself which is just the hard stats on the gun so the gun on this tank is about 1800 dpm now comparing that to to a sta2 which is i would say probably at the moment the best tier 8 premium available it's it's, it's not good the, the sta2 is 2000 plus dpm so it works out just a shot a shot and shot a minute yeah shot a minute it works out a shot a minute worse off the pen on it is actually pretty good it works out at 212 pen on the normal ammunition normal ammunition now with a 90 mil gun that's on the higher end you can see anything from 185 mil penetration on the sta2 all the way up to about 192 on the kr pattern um so the pen on this tank is actually really really good now obviously because it's a 90 mil the damage is 240 alpha which you know isn't too bad it's it is what a tier 8 premium does the nightmare gun 240 damage now what's fairly decent on here is we've got a quite a good rate of fire of 7.5 rounds a minute you, you might may make it to eight i don't know um so it it's shooting a lot but not as much as, as i said before the sta2 now the weapon itself the gun the 90 centimeter cannon it's fairly decent we've got a pretty good aim time here of 2.3 seconds we've got 0.36 accuracy and one of the really interesting things with this tank is we've got a full 10 degrees of gun depression now that's going to be important and we'll talk about that a little bit more now the dispersions on this tank aren't actually that good compared to the kr pattern which is very very good when shooting on the move this is worse now the kr pattern would have 2.5 seconds aim time with 0.38 accuracy the aim time on this sort of makes up for the bigger bloom you're going to get compared to other tier 8 premium tanks so you know it's not great it's not bad it's it's there <laughs> it's the best way to describe it it's there now the engine on this little tank i say little it's a big tank is actually quite interesting so we have 600 horsepower 17.15 power to weight ratio we've got 50 kilometers per hour forward and a very very lovely 20 kilometers per hour backward now the train resistance are really really good on this tank now what all that adds up for is a very quick tank and now i don't mean quick doing 60 70 kilometers per hour obviously it's limited at 50 but it's able to reach its top speed quickly and it doesn't bleed off too much speed when it's turning um also having 20 kilometers per hour reverse speed is really really nice that allows you to play peekaboo use your 10 degrees of gun depression and play on ridge lines you're sort of getting where this tank is going now it's all adding up to uh, a style of play that i think we're all uh, used to or tanks i like anyway which is just trolling around ridge lines using your support peekabooming up using your 10 degrees of gun depression and using your 20 kilometers per hour top reverse speed to get out of trouble as quickly as possible now this is a little bit interesting so the armor on this tank to give you an idea it's 90 on the hull on the front 30 on the side 40 on the back which is weird but let's not uh, let's not worry about why it has 40 on the back and 30 on the side there's no spaced armor on this tank 
you'll see though that we have a 200 millimeter strip of armor wouldn't worry about it ain't gonna do nothing <laughs> i don't even know why it's there but it's there for a reason so the hull it can get to 150 millimeters effective on the upper plate so this still isn't great a lot of tier eights are just going to pen straight through that some tier sevens will tier nines and definitely tier tens are going to go straight through your front of your armor but at least it's going to give you a little bit of protection now you're going to have with your 10 degrees of gun depression essentially you're going to be looking like this to enemies so they're not really going to see your hull as long as you're using ridge lines now this is where we come to the next point turret armor the turret armor is not effective just flat arm 120 on the front 65 on the side and of course 40 on the back but you'll notice those two massive cupolas obviously the right hand cupola is significantly larger than the other obviously these are big weak points they work out at 44 millimeters effective of armor um, and they're, they're difficult not to hit if you're sort of fighting front on just literally aim for a cupola if you're not going to go through the lower glacis if this, or upper glacis if the tank is hold down you're going to go straight through those two big tumors of cupolas now what is quite interesting on this tank is the turret armor the front and the mantlet so the mantlet works anywhere from sort of 120 to 150 millimeters effective that is if you are using your full 10 gun full 10 degrees of gun depression now the cheeks on the tank actually can work out anywhere from 170 mil to 200 millimeters effective when you're using your full 10 degrees of gun depression at which point you're pretty much showing this in your tank so obviously your cupola is looking a little bit smaller if you're very aware of which side you're shooting over you can potentially just minimize them being able to shoot at the uh the chain was on top of the tank as well so this tank pretty much stacks up as a fairly good support ridge lined fighter tank um it, it's not got the armor to be a frontline tank it's not got the turret to be a hold down position denier tanks something like the mudland or the type 59 um you know use the rate of fire use a pretty good pen 212 millimeters of pen just to get in positions where you can make an absolute nuisance of yourself on the flank you've got speed to get yourself into those positions and just support the main advance as much as possible um, and do everything you can not to be the priority target so as much as possible you want to get into positions where you can help your team push hotspots on maps obviously by that i mean the main engagement points on maps which most people should know um where you're not being shot at back um realistically not one i'm going to purchase um this it's not different enough for me for a tier 8 premium my sort of comparison is always the sda2 when it comes to medium tanks is this better than the sda2 no it's more expensive than the sda2 it also doesn't get preferential matchmaking which is a pain when you've got armor like this it's a pretty big letdown for tier 8 premiums when they don't have it now in terms of cost if we literally just scroll over nice and quick with indicator don't buy it <laughs> straight over to the months we got 11,300 the base bundle is still going to be slightly cheaper than this um but still when you can pick up the sda2 for significantly cheaper i think it's not quite good enough for me in this or to pick up by itself if you picked it up in the 24,500 bundle then yeah definitely worth it unique tank paint jobs nice it's got a fun play style but it's not one i would pick up individually i'd be really interested to hear your thoughts in the comment section below guys um what i'm going to do going forward for reviews is something a little bit different so i'm going to be bringing in someone else to do reviews with to see their thoughts on it just to see how that goes hopefully it will make the reviews <laughs> funnier it'll definitely make them funnier but it'll be interesting to hear your thoughts on it and hopefully we should have a few of those up over the coming weeks guys please like and subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you next time chaps